Hey guys, welcome back to the Auto Worlds. I'm the Pickle Narwhal. <laughs> so we're gonna explore the trash. Maybe we can find someone here. If we're lucky. Hold on, I wanna wait. That takes four. I'm not going to do any anything like that that requires um the mag picks. I guess they just chuck it down here. Yeah, they do. I don't know, we'll go back to that door in a second. Uh how about I stay up top? Holy crap. Keep watch. Okay. Yeah, you you do that. You do that. Um, Frankie got a lead on some local salvage. One of Groundbreaker's old hangars was bricked over until someone found it by poking on the sea north quarters. Lilia gave us the go ahead to plant her flag once we clear out the new arrivals. I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You got to climb on top of their bunks and head toward the back wall. Lilia says we should walk, watch our back. She thinks we're being tailed. In other words, typical Lilia. Yeah, homie, homie got schwacked. Oh my. That's it? There's nothing else here? Just a dead person? Okay. That's neat. I mean, it sucks for him, but hey, you know. <laughs> what can you do? More trash! So, nothing that I suppose. Haha, <laughs> Magpix, hell yeah, let's go. Everything I could possibly need, right here. Thank you. That's a save real quick. Huh. Here. Take everything in here. Uh. Nice job, you fell down. And then go back. And then we can do Vicar's uh, stuff on the terminal but first. Here they come. Do I want to get you out? Hey, it's free. You have to show me how to do that. Shit. Ain't that a relief? Nice you job, have no dude. No idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. Gross. How long have you been in there? Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. Ugh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I've been clocked out in days. Song is gonna have my ass for wage theft. Well, what can you do? Oh, what happened? What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. Well, actually, two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. Hmm. All right. I did you a favor. What are you gonna do for me? You're gonna shake me down after I was trapped in a shit-covered bathroom? <laughs> is that how it is? <laughs> are you going to pay up or are you just gonna stand here smelling like shit? <laughs> I can always lock the door again. Just make sure people know I helped you out. I suppose you've been through enough. That's so funny. Uh, you've been through enough. Damn right I have. Oh, man. You scare me a little, man. That's so funny. It's like I've been stuck in a disgusting ass bathroom and you're gonna take my money? I might! Oh. Oh, I'm gonna stop Vicar right in the freaking bag. Oh! Okay, got back up for a second. Hell yeah. Manta pillars. They're gonna have a Manta Queen. Huh? Baby, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, there's one thing. Work order. Vera says the Lost Hope's plumbing is acting up again. Take a gander at the usual spot. While you're there, someone locked their key behind the door. It's the locked one. Once you're ready for a challenge, come back and we'll discuss the radiators, radiators for the hundredth time. Dang gum. What's through here? No, there's no dancing right now, baby. I love that. Mm. Bro, don't fall down again. <laughs> Alright, so I guess it just goes Mama. through the same thing. Da. No, baby, not right now. <laughs> no. Neat. Mama. Okay, cool.
cool. So what's down here? More adventure to be had, I guess. Oh, a back room. Hmm, things to steal. Where am I? <laughs> well, okay. Look at that. Lost hope. Keep hard. Let's uh put that away. I only want take the ammo. Sure, I'll take a tactical shotgun. Take the money. Take that money. Parts. Okay, neat. Ah, this is where it went. Okay. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to um the vicar stuff. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. <laughs> Do you have what it okay. takes to defend your Which way? township from the this way? No, not that way. That's the bathroom. Talk this way. We'll get out of here eventually. Alright. Now we can go back all the way back here. And I can unlock the thing now that I have more than enough uh, things. And then I'll remember to keep a mental note for the future that um, hack is good for getting restricted stuff. Great work. There it is. Just yank the drive and I'll do the rest. Okay. Just ah! breaks it. Eject docking records, data cartridge. Let's read everything else first. Security logs. Um, Sublight put a bid on one of our impounds, generous one too. Negotiate for the usual finder's fee and then give Lily her salvage. Brawl at the Lost Hope, freelancer versus board, freelancers one. Arrested a freighter captain with more bits and brains. Hawthorne ship impounded by order of Udon Bedford. Still no clue why Hawthorne associates with that board snake. A guy from the back base roughed up the moon kid, raving mad, warned me that the moon was gonna bring about the end times. He was flying high on whatever McCred grows down there. Got a sworn testimony that MacRed was spotted at the rest and go, not that anyone will corroborate it. Remember to keep an eye on Gladys. And confiscated goods. Detained a freelancer who was cagey about his business, confiscated his personal belongings while he waited for questioning. Modified pistol, hatchet, metal hoop, prayer beads, locked container. He fled before we could get down to it, left his things behind, so they're stored in the back of the security station until the idiot shows his face again, which is likely to be never. Eject docking records, data cartridge. Exit. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Oh, yeah. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Reginald. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook. Rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Yeah, true. Um, you hesitated there, Vicar. Why? What aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. What aren't you saying, bro? I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding them. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I guess. This all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have Watch in head, contemplation baby. of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. I'm really curious about that hoop. <laughs> like, why is it a thing? Hold on, let me refresh. Where is it at? Like this. I wonder if this is... If it's a uh, ship decor, OSI prayer beads for a vicar's room. So, one of these isn't locked, right? No? Okay. So that says to find the scholar. Well, I'm not, I'm not done yet here. Not. I'm not done here yet. Jesus. Okay, so this is level three, level five. I just got this level eight. 
kind of ammo does this take? Does it have light? Oh, okay. Why are you knocking on the door, baby? Plasma rifle. Level 5. Level 6. Level 5, 137. Level 5, 123. Haha! -ha. Push that out. Impact hammer. That's higher than what she has. Level 2. Level 4. Let's push that out. And then I can probably give her the shotgun. Hey, hey, Parvati. Vicar, he has a shotgun. Oh, I guess they both have a shotgun then. Um, <laughs> level eight, level six. I'll give her that. Okay, codex. Maintenance work order, crumpled instructions, more things to be a freaking notification. Okay, so now we have that. Um, we need to make our way to Udom. But I think June Lei comes first. So let's go see. Look at that right there that I can steal. There's a person literally right next to them. Penny, why are you being creepy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she like left the room and then was just lingering at the door and was like yeah, playing with it. <laughs> Which is creepy as hell. <laughs> huh? Who's whispering? Huh? We got secrets? I guess not. Okay. So I know that- ha, right here. So I say, I know that there's a terminal somewhere. Uh, Hack 20, messages. Hell yeah. Two wildcat group subject groundbreaker meetup. Even though it's been nigh on 20 years since our last meetup on groundbreaker, I was hoping we could get the old gang back together. I understand that things have changed. Some of us are long range haulers. Some of us have gone corporate. Some of us are likely dead. <laughs> and some of us are on Tartarus and not reading this message, but I haven't lost hope. No one responded to my last invite. I hope that means your schedules are full up with family gatherings and job opportunities. Stay free, freelancers. Two IS conveyors collected. Subject conveyors rights. From Iceman. Hi all. So I just got off ice from a round trip to Dachkova. Two years out, two years back. Imagine my surprise when we dethought and groundbreaking comps told us our docking was going to be delayed. One hour turned into five, then days went by. In the end, we spent an entire goddamn week waiting for a berth on this law fucked bolt bucket and because we were kicking our heels all the time not a not a one of us got paid i don't know about you but i got expenses a family i don't see often enough debt you wouldn't believe and even if i'm not working i still gotta make my payments hey. hi does that seem proper to you don't we conveyors have rights we should do something about this if you agree leave a message here and i'll respond when i get back from ginsan in three years is this the same thing oh yeah i can't read it anymore your attempt to access this me message has been logged. Searching, searching, searching. This message does not exist. Okay. Public notices. Regooting. Re Regarding the food situation. Yes, baby. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> to those of you who have raised concerns. Mwah, bye. About the quality of groundbreakers. Vittles. Yes, I'm aware the promenade stinks. Allow me to put the matter to rest. Our ancestors didn't rest from humble beginnings on a diet of Spratwurst. Spratwurst and Borst. But that's the reality of life up here. If you can't salt it, can it, or zip it up in a pouch, then we're not picky about calling it food. Spacers made make do with what they have, and what we have is smelly meat, lots of salt, and 11 kinds of mustard, last time I counted. Try and enjoy it. What the hell? You smell poopy. Give me one moment. Decker is changed. Let's continue. So, this is a general notice about our impound policies. If the board impounded your ship, take it up with the board. Their embassy is the gaudy building opposite Sublight's warehouse. Send them your questions, outstanding fees, and hate mail. Especially hate mail. If Groundbreaker impounded you, pay your damn fees and don't bother my people. Looking for work. 
Urgently, oh, okay. Urgently looking for a new crew to sign on with. I've been stuck in Halcyon for almost a year now. Don't know what's holding up my next posting. Never had to wait this long to get on another freighter. I plan to take one of the rare long hauls back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any. And even the shorter skips to the inner world seem rarer than the outer world routes these days. They said the name. <laughs> if anyone has any information about upcoming work, please post it here. Down on my luck. Hey, so here's my story. My ship limped into Groundbreaker on a rough state. We couldn't make the repair fees, the docking fees, refueling, or the fees for not being able to pay our fees. So I'm kind of stuck here now. Then they took my ship and sold it off as scrap. Rip. Now my credit is shot to hell and corporate freighters won't hire me on. I'm hoping someone with a bunk to spare and places to go is feeling charitable. Thanks for listening. This notice has been posted 56 times in 632 days. Dad gum. That's a lot of times. Okay. So that's I think where we have to go, go for Zantium, you gold plated um, bastards. Udom. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Yeah. First now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Yeah. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you you waste of O2 scrubbers. <laughs> yeah, Got him. O2 scrubbers. <laughs> yeah. Got him. All right. Hi. Hearty greeting, potential customer. Welcome yeah, you, you O2 kitchen, scrubber. A home style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. May you give me food? Aren't you just a glorified vending machine? Dad, go! This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such <laughs> assertions. Shock simulation non functional. A trouble ticket has Bruh. been filed. Alright, let me take a look at that. Maybe I can fix shock it. Shock simulation restored. Initiating shock yeah. subroutine. XP. How dare you? Shock ha. subroutine complete. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> your level of customer increased by 35%. Resuming protein dispensation protocol. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. What food you got? Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. That sounds so nasty. Open your facial ingestion tubes. Huh? <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's go to other places first before going to uh, June Lay. We have sublight salvage and shipping. Sublight salvage. Their front looks surprisingly on the up and up. You reckon we can shop here, or is it all spoke for? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Are you? Salvage is a thing. Can't talk to you. Got any leads on salvage? Can't talk to you. Sublight. Can't talk to you. Corporations never lift their fingers. I can read your terminal though. Ha ha ha! All right. Uh, messages. Okay. <laughs> Uh, from Hagen, subject, don't run. <clears throat> we lost another contractor to a UDL gunship. This is your daily reminder that le legitimate businesses don't run from their authorities. And that is, and that is what we are. Stay calm. Present your papers. If you get tangled up in the courts, I will personally bail you out. Anyone seen Hawthorne lately? I could use some reliable help. From Hagen, subject, Fallbrook shipments. Ugh. Unlike most of you sprats, Catherine is bringing Sublight a consistent income. From today until I say, you're to threat, you're to treat her as an extension of my desk. Speaking of which, Tobias, order an extension from my desk. Um, so, Purpleberry Liquor, Spectrum Vodka, Erotica Generic, Erotica Exotic, Space Cake Surprise. I don't know what that is, but it was on last month's order, order list, so either track him down or do your best in the kitchen. Black Hole, Hol Holcomb signed toss ball poster. P.S. Tobias, where are we with that desk extension? And then this week in salvage. My scanner says the Mardats impounded a freelancer ship after the captain misbehaved. The crew dropped so many bits at Vera's place that they can't afford to lift the impound. Whoever gets me salvage rights gets to sit quietly in my office and watch a professional work. One of ours had an altercation with one of theirs. Lost other contractor. 
Scrap the ship, dedicated a tenth of the salvage to funeral expenses. I take care of my people. A little sprat told me that a crate of spoiled cysty pork ended up at the bottom of a monarch's canyon. Let's see how much we can sell. Speaking of which, no one eat at Auntie Cleo's stall until I say so. Something in the kitchen's gone bad. The next time one of us finds an abandoned ship and decommissions it, they had better dispatch a ground team to the debris field before the marauders have their turn. Just because we're salvagers doesn't mean we have to be scavengers. Okay. Guess I'll explore more of that later. You are... food person? If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. Another I've got a fresh person. ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? A grinder's dozen? What's Spratwurst exactly? You know what Sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found oh, a that's use why for they're this called limitless sprats. frontier resort. I never paid attention. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. Space rats. You grind them up in sausages, then terror fry them in their own juices. Um, is Spratwurst like Borswurst? I've seen that a lot. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's say, say that. Absolutely not. Spratwurst and all related terms are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar, the other meat, is a registered trademark of C&P. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. Okay, what does TerraFry mean? TerraFrying is a Spacer's Choice brand secret. A mix of 13 herbs doing? and spices, plus a dash like of this modern chemistry. Like that. Um, is it your own invention or what? Legally? No. The terrifying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears. And could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C&P by r and ing our own special meat. Uh-huh. That's enough talk for now. Just as well. <clears throat> Near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. Gross. Okay, I'll just excuse myself. You. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times we have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Makes sense. Um, are you a spacer yourself? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked at Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. Uh-huh, and... They did what after the what? Oh, go on. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way huh? out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Okay, tell me more about your wares. Everything I sell is fresh from the forge. Technically, the metal formed billions of years ago, but it's freshly in the shape. Okay. So you have armor, right? Yeah, he has armor. Ooh. Higher level armor. I oh, will definitely have to come back to him, but we gotta get to June Lei. June Lei, finally. Thought finally. Be Lei. <laughs> Must be housed on a sub level. Advertisement for the spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn though. Enough new faces in the house. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Want new neighbors from time to hey time. June Lei. June Lei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. She has red or orange eyes. Introduction. Wow. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Um, Pickle. Nice place you've got here, chief. I'm captain of the unreliable, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. I don't plan on staying long, captain. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna introduce myself and say... Nice place. No, it isn't. It's a mess. Nice but place, it's girl. Mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Yeah, there's there's plenty of problems. <laughs> uh, I can go. Copy that, <laughs> copy that, chief. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. I'll try not to start any fights, but I might have to end some. Copy that, chief. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, huh. and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Yes, ma'am. 
So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Um, once I get out of Impound, I'm bound for Monarch. Yeah. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. Oh yeah, for we sure. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, I heard you're having a heat problem. What's going on? Parvati, you wanted to talk to June Lei. Go ahead. What's it like being in command around here? You don't have a lot of faith in the board. Let's see. How are you having a heat problem? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Um, why haven't you fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Um, is there no room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources yeah. are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, intelligence. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Yeah! Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Um, let's see. Got it. I'll take care of that right now. The back bays? Am I supposed to know where that is? How do you know that the parts are still there? But there's a catch, right? Yeah, there's a catch, right? The back bays are on a lower deck. Long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Um, I'll get you those parts. You can't get these parts anywhere else? Couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever is down there? Have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? Yeah, can we try talking it out? Those idiots are immune to reason. And they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. I think that there is a, w a way to do it, but... Um, have you tried sending anyone else- sending anyone else down there? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. None taken. Flash a rude gesture with both hands. None taken. Uh, why so protective? Mardits are descended from the original oh marine detachment that crossed the void with Groundbreaker. <laughs> I don't put their lives on the line if I can avoid it. Oh my god. Um, let's see. You can't get these parts anywhere else? You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth. And the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Uh, their negotiations sound like a, a bureaucratic coup. Aren't you just delaying the inevitable by cannibalizing the systems? Let's see, yeah. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Okay, I'll get you those parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Oh, okay. Um, can I continue talking to you? What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, Parvati wanted to talk to you! <laughs> Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just- Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? Mm, that's a lovely name. I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual- Real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. <laughs> yeah, not sure to continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Ooh -hoo, uh... Silently encourage her. Wow, great! I'll do that then. Messages. Yeah, baby. Later. Oh, hold on. Your your name's pretty too. I should have said. Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. <laughs> I love it. Uh, whisper. It. Nice job, Parvati. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. <laughs> now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Yeah, um, what's it like being in command? Frustrating. 
everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Um, the ship is a family business? Parvati here could always help you shoulder the burden. Aren't you a little young to be training a successor? Let's see, let's see, the ship is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the groundbreaking. My grandmother, Chief Gain, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. Rip. Hey, you must have been amazing stop people it. to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, was it a big change that that transition to command? Condolences, June Lay. I'm sure those were some big shoes to fill. Yeah. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Yeah, I'm sure. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. Um, oh, oh, I can still say it. Hey. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. Yeah. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Where's the self-destruct mechanism? Aren't you a little young to be training successor? Yeah, let me ask them. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. I didn't think the so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. So in other words, she doesn't come from having kids. So back to my other question. You've got my attention. Um, you don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right. Yes, baby. I don't. The yeah, I see. The board is after two things. I see. Bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Yes, baby. I know, you've had that out for a while. How do you keep the board at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real. God, you ever have days where like you're? It'd be a joy if I could kick out. Trying to do stuff and then like your nose is just docking fees in my life. Itchy as hell. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see it's that annoying. change. Like, leave me alone. Stop being itchy. <laughs> I smell you got questions. my attention. I think that's all, right? Yeah, we'll be on our way. Yeah, so now I think that's updated to we go to the uh, the ship, right? Yeah, return to the unreliable, so that's all those that require going back. That goes for Udom. Um, weapons from the void. Happiness is a warm spaceship, so we can go do that next. But that is all the time I have for this one, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. So I want to go ahead and thank everybody so much for uh, watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!